Hello everyone, this is Oshani from Chinta.com. Welcome to Chinta's YouTube channel one more time. We will be discussing a very beautiful problem from American math competition today. In fact, we will be using that problem to learn one of the most used concepts in mathematical Olympiads, that is similarity of triangles. If you are watching videos in our channel, you know that I love to talk about concepts using problems. In fact, that's how Chinta Mathematical Olympiad programs are designed. They are centered around problems and using those problems, we learn concepts. That is more motivating in nature. Okay, So you can check the link in the description for the courses at Chinta.com. We have outstanding programs for Mathematical Olympiads, ISICMI entrances, physics, informatics and so on. Let's come back to this. So, you know, how to think about similarity. I always say this to my students. Let's think about similarity using homothety. So, let me write it down. Homothety. So, what this essentially means is, suppose if you have two triangles which are similar to each other, which are similar to each other, you can imagine that this triangle is blown up to this triangle. This triangle is blown up to this triangle. So maybe if you join the points correctly, if we join the points correctly, you will get something called a blow up point. Like this. Okay. So. Basically. This side. Right here. Blows up to this one. And this is the. Direction. From which the blow up is happening. Okay. Similarly this side. Is blowed up to this one. And again. This is along these lines. These are the blow up lines. Okay. Along which the blow up is happening. Similarly, the same thing with this one. It might be possible to find a point like this. Not always though. In a bigger class, in a more wider class, we will be discussing when this is possible. But this is one way to think about similarity. This point O is a very special point. It's sometimes called the center of homothety. Okay. And when you blow up one of the triangles into another one, then those two triangles are similar. Similar means their sides are proportional. So if this is ABC and this is XYZ, then AB over XY is equal to AC over XZ is equal to BC over YZ. It is not important how the definition works. Think about it. It's important how you imagine it. Definitions are of course important. Let me take that back. Definitions are important, but it's very important. It's perhaps more important how you think about the definition. This is one way to think about it. Think, thinking about similarity of triangles. So sides are proportional. There is an equivalent condition that the angles are equal. Angle A is equal to angle X. Angle B is equal to angle Y. Angle C is equal to angle Z. Here is a challenge question to all of you who are watching this video. Can you show that sides are proportional means angles are equal and angles are equal means sides are proportional. Then these two conditions are equivalent. Can you show it? Maybe you can write it down and say it in the comment section. Remember, the best commenter is often invited to this particular channel to present their work. Uh, we have 60,000 and plus and growing community. So it will be a wonderful opportunity to share your work with all of us and you will also get a book. So comment it 
tell us why these two conditions are equivalent. All right. So, what is this problem from American Math Competition 2000? Uh, American Math Competition 12. Well, the problem is like this: that if you have, so here is the problem. This was the concept, like the underlying concept that we will be using. The problem is like this: that you have a trapeze trapezoid, a trapezium. Uh, it's kind of like this. Let me draw it properly. So, it's like this. Oops, sorry. Like this, okay? So, A, B, C, D. It's given that AD is perpendicular to BC. So, this is the given data. AD is perpendicular to BC. Okay? Okay, that's great. And it's also given that BC is equal to CD is equal to 43. BC is equal to CD is equal to 43. It's also given that P is the midpoint of BD and O is the intersection point of the diagonals. O P is midpoint midpoint of BD and O is the intersection point of the diagonals and OP is 11 OP is 11 so we are interested to find out the length of AD so goal what is AD this side we want to find out the length of this set. Okay, so there are a variety of ways of doing this problem, but one of the ways is to use similarity of triangles. The first thing, and this is one of the one of our students, they were all all giving up observations. Okay. So in this AMC 10 and 12 review course that we have, they are all giving up observations. And one of the observations was, so whenever you have a problem, you should have a bunch of observations. One of the observation was that if you join OP, if you join OP, it would be perpendicular to BD. OP is perpendicular to BD. Why is that? Well, this is because P is the midpoint of BD and BCD is isosceles, 43 and 43. BCD is isosceles. So, OCP is the line joining the vertex to the midpoint of an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, let me draw it here. If you have an isosceles triangle XYZ, then if you join x to the midpoint of yz then this will be perpendicular that's exactly what's happening here that's first observation the second observation and this is very important is that this is observation two and all of this is coming from the students right <laughs> usually what i do is i throw the problem and I ask students to give up observations. On the basis of that, if we can play around with the problem, maybe we can reach the solution. It's best to do it in that way, I think. So, oh, uh, the CP is perpendicular to BD and AD is perpendicular. So, uh, okay, so I made a mistake here. This is BD. BD. Right, BD. So, AD is perpendicular to BD. So, AD is perpendicular to BD that is given and CP is perpendicular to BD that we just proved. This is observation 1. Observation 1. So, both of these lines are perpendicular to the same thing. This, my friends, is a very important fact or an observation that if this happens, 
if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel to each other. These two lines are parallel to each other. Okay? So, we have found a very important, um, we have found a very important pair of similar triangles. And what is that? Well, two triangles are similar. Which two triangles are similar? Well, triangle AOD is similar to triangle COP. Vertically opposite angles equal. These two angles are 90 degree. So the remaining angles must be equal as well. Okay. So that's great. Then one of the students said, Okay, why don't you assume that BP is X? BP is X. Then obviously, DP is also X, right? DP is also X. So this one, and this little one, is X minus 11. Because OP is 11, right? That's given. So, DO, this little one, is X minus 11. And this is X plus 11. So, we have another pair of similar triangles, actually. It is triangle AOB is similar to triangle COD. This is another pair of similar triangle. AOB, AOB is similar to COD. Again, AB is parallel to CD. So, these two angles are equal alternate angles. These two angles are equal alternate angles. And these two angles are equal vertically opposite angles. Again, that's why they are similar. So, now what you can say is that corresponding sides are proportional. So, AB over 43 is equal to Angle opposite to this side is x plus 11 divided by angle opposite to this side, this angle, a side opposite to this angle, this is x minus 11. That's what AB is. And notice if we know AB, then we are done. If we know AB, then we are done. Right? Why is that? Because then it, it, this is a Right angle triangle ADB. So you can just use Pythagoras theorem. If you know X and AB, that is, if you know BD and AB, then you are done. BD and AB, and you are done. Then you can just use Pythagoras theorem to find AD. That's the goal to find AD. Okay. All right. That's great. So how do you go about doing it? Well, you notice that this is, I think, Shodhi suggested this, what you can do is you can extend CP and it hits the opposite side at T. Let's suppose it hits it at T. Then this is a parallelogram. Why? Because AT is obviously parallel to CD. And AD is parallel to CT because we already proved it, right? CP is parallel to DA and we just extended CP. So, we have, this is another observation. 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 3. AT, CD is parallelogram. So, AT is 43. AT is 43. Because CD is 43, right? AT is 43 there. Because CD is 43. Okay. That's great. Now, there is some angle chasing involved as well. Notice that these two pink angles are equal. The pink angles are equal because... Pink angles are equal because... This is, uh, sorry, this is an isosceles triangle. So, these two pink angles are equal. And this angle is equal to this one, angle 
TBP is equal to BDC because they are alternate angles. So these two angles are equal as well. What that means is, a look at the triangle TBC. Look at the triangle TBC. BP is the angle bisector and it is hitting TCS at 90 degree. Right angle. So, this angle is equal to this. This is 90, this is 90. And we have a common side. So, these two triangles are congruent, which means BT is also 43. BT is 43. Okay, so that means we have found AB. AB is 43 times 2, which is 86. So, 86 by 43 is x plus 11 by x minus 11. So just cancel it off. So, you have 2x minus 22 is equal to x plus 11 or x is equal to 33. So, this x is 33. So, what is the total length of BD? Well, it's double of x. So, BD is, so we have BD is 66, AB is 86. So, you can now find out AD. See how we used similarity of triangles along with a bunch of other observations to solve this one problem. There are so many things we learned. One of this is extremely important that you identify two lines as parallel if they are perpendicular to the same line, which was the basis of observation one. Uh, and the sec second thing is that you observe some parallelogram. This was like the key to the problem. So all of these things coming together solves the problem that we would like to solve. And that's really fantastic. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of math videos, please consider subscribing our channel. If you are interested in outstanding mathematical Olympiad programs with a lot of passion, please check the link in the description and join us for a trial class or join our community through our WhatsApp groups. All right. That's free as well. So you can, you can do that. Thank you for watching again. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.